Hello, Marona's here, and today now we're gonna take a look at what happens when you plug the Acer W4 into a HDMI display. So I'm just gonna plug it into the HDMI port on the top, and it's a standard micro HDMI, nothing special. Plug it in. And pop. So, what just happened here? Hmm. Okay, first of all, the screen rotated to portrait mode because, as I mentioned in my other video, to the video drive, video driver rotation angle zero is actually portrait mode on the Acer W4. And what Windows does is that by default, when you try to when you plug in a secondary display. It will always snap the display back to rotation angle zero, and so you might wonder how do I get it to rotate back to landscape mode? Uh, that's a good question. I mean, it, it doesn't seem to be doing it. That's because to Windows, the once you enter, can you? I'm gonna, it's a bit blanked out. I can't see it on the camera display. But basically, once you do a, connect a multiple display, notice that the rotation lock icon is grayed out because it, it, it will lock the display rotation if you have multiple displays. That's just how it works. It's still okay. So what we can do is we can just go into the screen resolutions and I can actually switch this to landscape flipped which puts a HDMI port on top and I get it to be in landscape mode okay now but the problem here is this is a second display this is a second window this is not a duplication of the windows so okay you think like that's fine all I have to do is go back into the screen resolution and I am going to choose duplicate these displays as you would do in a normal situation and I'm gonna say apply oops and it says it can't actually do that I wonder why it's actually something strange and something that has to do with how the driver works but the core issue here is that because of this we if you only had a if you didn't have an external keyboard on your hand right now you can't do anything to this screen because there's no touchpad or anything here so what what if you have a scenario where you might decide to watch a video okay so again the audio is coming out of the TV pretty well so we know that the HDMI port works but of course if you're in a hotel room or something you want the video to be on this monitor instead of here so we do have some alternative for example, I can bring up the keyboard and I can bring up the, this is the standard keyboard I can bring up this system keyboard which has the full array of keys and I can basically use a windows key and right to shift it over not the most elegant way but if you know how to use the keyboard shortcuts you can still get it to work but of course, this isn't a usable alternative because you might not know all the keyboard shortcuts. So what we can there is still one other option. I've recently come to know of a program called a virtual mouse pad. Now, if you see here, I have an additional little icon here. is a is a little mouse icon. So when I tap it this little thing here appears and it's actually a little touchpad so when I move it around you can see it works like a touchpad on your mouse on your notebook so with this I can actually just drag I can drag the thing across okay just like I'm using a mouse, I can actually go and do all my file play and anything, so I can actually play this I can actually play this by 
just double clicking just like normal and I can see get everything so it's not the best way but at least there's still some way of controlling it even though you don't have to get an external mouse it's I find it really interesting that they didn't allow you to actually duplicate the display from the tablet onto the screen but at least there are some alternatives especially if you get get this uh, get this virtual touchpad which I highly recommend that you do hell I'm gonna donate some money to the developer right after this video because I feel that this is very very good someone in Microsoft probably should donate some money to him as well because this is seriously something that you should have if you have a Windows 8 touchscreen device and you want to use desktop apps properly if you're finding some difficulty with the using desktop apps okay Pretty sure I can even drag it. You want to drag it back? It has a mouse view and stuff. Okay, so that's basically it for using the Acer W4 with an external video interface. And stay tuned for some more other. Acer W4 related videos. See you around.